if more stimulus is coming, in what form is it going to look like? I think we're going to see fairly targeted fiscal support. Uh, and, and we may not see it in the next month. We may not see it in the next uh, quarter. But as we get towards the end of this year, as we're getting closer to, uh, to the, uh, the end of the year and, and that growth target, there will be some support come through. It, it will probably be infrastructure spending. It will be supporting for, for household spending. The, uh, the levers that they like to use to make sure that growth uh, comes in on target. Isaac, it's Hadley out in Abu Dhabi. Um, just walk me through in your mind. I mean, you're saying, obviously, you think that there's going to come a resolution. There's always a resolution in these debt ceiling kind of conversations. And, and there's a lot of horse trading, though, that goes into things beforehand. The real question is perception, isn't it? Um, you know, it's an interesting conversation to be having right now. We're getting into the full election mode back in Washington. Lots of questions about who the Republican nominee is going to be, if it will be Donald Trump, and frankly, whether or not President Biden can, can make it through another election cycle. To your mind, what is the signal um, that we're seeing sent to not just investors, but folks locally in the United States about what's happening to their economy? It's incredibly challenging because you have this really fractious uh, political backdrop that is going to make it harder perhaps than it has been over the last five years or so to find a, a resolution or a timely resolution to this debt ceiling debate. That said, uh, we've got a lot of time left before we hit that sort of one June limit when, uh, when uh, Yellen has suggested that we will run out of wiggle room. Uh, that, you know, that's almost three weeks in between now and that period. We're going to see a lot of behind the scenes uh, politics going on. And I think Alongside that, you're going to see the economics of this, the markets of this really drive politicians to find a resolution uh, in, in the next couple of weeks. I think get ready for volatility, get ready for volatility in equity markets, volatility in the bond markets, in the Treasury market. It will be screaming at the politicians to get together and find a timely resolution. And historically, we see that it will happen after the pain gets uh, gets driven home.